Pan here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make a curly hair kind of wave look with just a flat iron. Okay, first you want to start off by having clips, a lot of them, a rat tail cone, some type of cream so you can have some type of shine, no frizz, you know, and also you want some spray. And I don't have it right now, but I will have it in a second, so... I'll be right back. I'll get the rest of my stuff, and I'll be right back at you. Okay? Bye. Hi. Um, okay. I'm back, and I'm taking my hair out. You want to start off by getting the back part first. So you want to, like, part it, and you want to move everything up to the top like this. And you want to put it in, like, a little ponytail or bun or whatever to keep out your way. I forgot you want to use hair ties as well. And I also didn't mention this earlier, but it's best if you kind of have, like, oily hair when you do this because curls seem to stick with oil unless you want to use hairspray. But I don't like to use hairspray because it makes my hair hard. And I don't like walking around with hard hair. If somebody want to touch it, like, ew, this hair is gunky and hard and all that nasty stuff, you know? It's just not cool. So I found my spray. I use olive oil. And it's mainly because I have naturally curly hair and I need some type of oil in my hair so it will work out right. So I like to spray my roots, Ooh. <laughs> and I want to take the back far part right here, and I'll clip that up out my way, like that. Hold on, had to move it, my bad. And I'm going to take my flat iron, and I'm using a Lee Angelique flat iron, just because it's smooth and makes your hair nice and shiny. So I have this far back piece right here, and I want to kind of straighten it out a little bit, and I want to turn my flat iron and move this piece over it and I want to keep moving it keep moving it and go all the way down some people use one whole motion but the curl doesn't really work out for me when I do that it just goes like flat still and I want these curls to look kind of tight under here so they'll last longer like that like those little tight curls those will last longer cause in the back, it tends to fall faster. So, yeah. Take this down. And do this part. Do the same motion as before. And it'll come out like that. See? And you just keep doing that. I'm saying my chick bad. My chick. Okay, I know it's getting a little boring sitting here and watching me do this. Because you probably got it down packed by now. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my bottom room and take it to the next show, okay? So I'll be right back. I am back. Okay, so I finished the bottom part. As you can see, this is how it will look. And now you're going to start off by doing the top part. Okay. Just make sure you can see me. Um, we're going to take this out. And then we're going to part it with our work rat tail comb. And we're going to do like this side first. I don't know why I do like this, but just do it like that. Oops. Kind of get all tangled up in there. I like doing each side like separate. This is how I like to do it. You don't have to do it like that though. Make sure like this part right here is in, in it as well. I'm going to take this part out. Up like that. Now for the second layer. You want to spray your hair spray again in the root part area. Oops. Okay. Now you want to do this bottom part. You want to start, you always want to start off at the bottom 
because it's like it's gonna fall you better okay now you can you take it plan it like this and you wrap it around oops I'm gonna keep wrapping it keep wrapping it till it's like that and you just do what you've been doing step in a different direction Know, can you see that? Put balls like that. my chick bad, my chick hood, my chick do stuff that your chick wish she could. My chick bad, better than yours. My chick do stuff that I can't even put in words. Her swagger don't stop. Her body won't quit. So full pipe down. You ain't talking about shit. My, my chick bad. Tell me if you seen her. She always bring the racket. Back. Okay. I'm about to do this side at the top. It's really not that different from, like, what I've been doing. So, yeah. You can just do exactly what I've been doing this whole time. And it'll come out wonderful. Um, this is what it kind of looks like when you're done. But now, since I have bangs, if you have bangs, then you're going to have to do something with them. I tend to pull them back like that, or I'll just, you know, bump them. So, I guess I'll just bump them for now. Oops, I missed the piece. So, yeah, call that. Okay, so, now you just, like, bump your hair, or... However your bang is, it depends how you're going to bump it or whatnot. Oops. Ooh. Okay. Um. See this one here. Okay. So that's my bang. I had some little smoothing spray for it so it'll look better. Oh it's not spray it's cream. My bad guys. Did you know sway it out like that. Now since it looks so flat, I mean if you like teasing your hair you can tease your hair. I would suggest by using hold on this 24 hour body finishing spray from Tresemme and you can just take pieces of your hair in the back. Okay, um, then you want to like style it so we look like you got a little definition to it, kind of. He's a little more. I know this is a weird place to be teasing it, but hey, you gotta have body everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Okay, now this kind of, I kind of like move everything to the other side because I don't know, that's just the way I like my hair to look. I don't know, that's just. I like it. So, yeah, this is kind of what it looks like at the end. So, yeah, I hope you love the tutorial. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say, don't forget it. Add your little spray there. You know, so look more shiny, you know. But thanks for watching.